want to not be on my team. I'm about to get dressed and ready for my day. Our closet is currently packed to the max. When I say this, I legit mean it is packed to the max. Oh, that's where my pants went. Um, I was looking for these yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to wear this bodysuit. I know for the most part where most of my clothes are. So I got this little bodysuit from Pink. It's like um, or I don't know what people call that. And then I need a purse and a sweater to wear with this. So this is most of my newer purses. Also, I have newer purses in this bag. It's honestly kind of crazy that I have so many new purses and I haven't used a lot of them. Um, I'm going to be running errands, so I think I want a smaller purse, possibly even a crossbody, uh, probably a crossbody. So I have this one. I'm leaning towards this one right here and just doing like a pink look. So we're going to pull this one. Also, I always have to move. If I want to open my closet fully, I always have to move this um, um, hanging rack, which it literally fits in like this half of my room, guys. Shockingly, because it seems like it's such a big cart, but it fits in this little section right here. And then I also do that if I need to get to any of the drawers on this side of my dresser. All right guys, I'm mostly finished getting ready. Y'all can see my whole ring light in my mirror behind me. Um, I filmed a little chit chat, get ready with me. I don't know if I want to leave my hair like this, but um, basically we decided to dress up today, which is something I don't, haven't done in a very long time. I feel like now if I dress up, it's like, not that I look crazy, it's just people aren't used to seeing me dressed up on my channel because I usually look like a bum. Um, we're going to use this cute little, it's like a strawberry perfume. I actually don't know what the actual scent of it, but it smells really good. Um, and I got it off Shein. But here's my outfit. So my bodysuit is from pink this sweater it's barbie and it's from hot topic and then i'm gonna use my juicy well actually so i have this purse which is what i've been using but i want to wear my crossbody so we're gonna wear this juicy couture purse i just need to take all the stuff off of it I finally cleaned my room, if you guys can't tell. Um, Y'all should be able to tell, though, because my room was looking very rough for the past couple of weeks. I want to say ever since I got back from my trip, it was looking really bad. I still have a few things I need to do, like I need to unpack everything from my trip but for the most part it's clean so yeah okay the other thing was i just finished editing a vlog from when i went to niagara falls so that should be up probably i don't know if it'll be up by three but it should be up by six I'll wear these glasses. I do actually have to wear my 
I guess I shouldn't say I have to wear my glasses, but I have my actual prescription glasses that I can wear now. I might get my nose pierced for my birthday. I've been wanting to get my nose pierced and I just have never done it. Um, for whatever reason, I don't think it's like not against a nose piercing i just am like scared or just never had money to do it but now i feel like i can easily do it okay so we're gonna switch our purse very quickly I think I should need too much. So, this fits. These, actually, I feel like I'm going to leave these because these need to be charging anyways. They're my Stitch um, Bluetooth headphones. I got them from Five Below. But I have lotion, sanitizer, lipstick, spray, my pen power bank, another lip gloss, card wallet, plus my lip gloss, my phone, and keys also will fit in here, so I'm not worried. I'm going to be doing my nails later. I just don't feel like doing it right now. I want to put some rings on, though. I have these really cute rings I have not worn yet. All right, these are the rings I put on. Like I said, my nails are raggedy, so we're just going to ignore that. I think we're ready and I'm just gonna wear my slides that I always wear uh, this purse is actually not long enough for me oh let's lengthen it all the way because I always like wearing crossbodies I have to go to the mall because I have a return at Hot Topic and then I'm gonna use one more of my Victoria's Secret spring cards and that's it so and then we're gonna get food I actually might get Starbucks first I don't know I'm craving my blonde espresso drink I always like to get guys so all right here's my full outfit today All right, y'all, all of this is trash I caught out of my room when I was cleaning, so I gotta put all of this out, or take all of this out. All right, guys, I put my Starbucks order in, so I'm about to go pick it up, and then, what was the other thing? I just got gas, but I really wanted to try I didn't get my drink I normally get, and also I'm mad because I forgot that it's still, you get a half off drink between 12 and 6 on Friday, and I missed it yesterday, and I probably could have really used that and would have been very happy, but it's okay. So then, after that, um, after this, I'm going to go to the mall and do my return. Then I'm gonna get food, I just don't know where yet. No, I slipped. I didn't either. Okay. I'm not the one that brought them up. Okay. So. <laughs> you actually did. <laughs> Who doesn't get respect? All right, y'all, I just picked up my Starbucks, so I got a pink drink. Yum, already my favorite drink. And then I wanted to try the pineapple cake, cloud cake. So this is what this looks like. Yum. It's like a jelly center. I don't know. 
it honestly does kind of taste like a pineapple upside down cake I haven't had that in a while but it's pretty good y'all I'm really craving some nachos I also had merchandise credit at the store, so I actually got some really good things and I spent only $33. Mm. Alright y'all, I just finished at the mall and I'm so hungry and craving food. I just don't know where. Maybe Wendy's. I haven't had Wendy's or possibly Taco Bell. Taco Bell would actually be really good right now. I don't want to break the bank because we're on a tight budget. And I know I'm going to have to slow down on my spending. All of these people could just kindly move. Easier to do. Um, get out of here. Um, I did end up um, going to Route 21, guys. I wasn't planning on it, but I know they're closing, so they had some. Honestly, the clearance could have been better. It was additional 40% off clearance. But one of the items I got clearance did not seem like it was that much off. But I'll do like a haul of what I got once I get home. I was thinking about getting cookout, but I don't think I want that. I gotta figure out what I want to eat because I have not eaten pretty much all day. And I know I am need to get food before I go home. And depending on what area I start in, it determines where I can get my food. Alright guys, I ended up getting McDonald's because I did not know what I wanted and I knew McDonald's would be quick and easy and cheap. So, always the best when you are not wanting to spend a lot of money and they have like the five dollar meals depending on if i'm like wanting a snack i'll either do the um buy one get one with like the mcdouble and the nuggets but i got the quarter pounder with cheese meal so yeah my um fries did not make it home that is that is how hungry i was So yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to leave my house again today, but I might try to do some other things, I don't know. For right now, we're home for the rest of the day.
guys i just filmed a really cool video which will be up by the time you guys see this in the vlog because my vlog channel is so behind but we finally started our ministry youtube channel page so i'm super excited um this is my little get up i feel like it's a i feel like i'm on a podcast i'm not on a podcast but having this mic and these headphones in makes me feel like i'm on a podcast but also i'm like i need to be i need to start recording like this more because i feel like it makes it makes me feel more professional and it makes me feel like i'm actually a youtuber <laughs> i feel like an imposter honestly whenever i post on youtube and i don't it feels wrong to call myself a youtuber but i guess low-key i am because i have a channel that's monetized so youtube does pay me to post right now <laughs> that sounded so cringe okay anyways i just posted my first well i didn't just post it i just filmed my first video for my new channel which is a woman's ministry page so i will have that linked in the description um the first video is actually gonna i'm going to be editing and uploading it um tonight so my first video is going to be up sunday and my posting schedule on this channel is going to be sundays i think at like 6 p.m is what sounds good to me so i hope you guys are looking forward to that and i will only be posting once a week on that channel because i just have excuse me um honestly i have some dead channels that i don't really post on like i have my main channel i have a beauty channel i have a vlog channel and then i have like my video diary channel which is where i mainly post a lot most of my content and that's the one that is monetized so the beauty channel and the main channel though are kind of dead so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that i'm gonna pray about it i guess <laughs> All right, guys, that's all for now. Bye. Guys, the sun finally came out today. It's been raining for like the past um, however many days. And look, we finally got some sunlight. I'm just checking them out. And then I am... Oop, there's the glow. <laughs> I'm about to go to Tajay. Not because I need anything, because I'm bored. I'm not gonna buy anything because I literally cannot afford to. But I just wanna get out the house because I feel like I've felt like I've been trapped inside for the past couple of weeks. So that's what we're gonna do but first we're gonna go to burger king and get us a, a snack because i really want to try their new crispy chicken tenders and i also kind of want to go to crispy cream and try the dolly parton donut so we are trying to do a lot of things and i guess i'll do burger king first y'all my car smells so bad and i think it's because my ac doesn't work still like i haven't been able to um we haven't been able to afford to get it fixed yet um and it's probably not going to be able to get fixed until sometime in june which is not good for me because it's literally only going to get hotter. So it's like 82 degrees right now. But anyways, to make a long story short, I have to drive with my windows down if I don't want to overheat. And I had to drive when it was raining. My cars were fogging up, so I had to roll down my windows. And because I was rolling down my windows, the inside interior of my car was getting wet. So now I feel like, I guess I didn't realize how wet it got and now my car smells dingy and musty AF. So we're gonna have to um, do something about that. Cause 
is well i just have my windows rolled down right now since it's actually sunny and nice out i don't like bugs but i'll take the risk of that but i need to let my car air out because it stinks in here either that or there's something molding in my car but i'm assuming it's because of the rain and that's not good y'all i'm about to freaking lose it because my lashes sorry not my lashes my well no my lashes yes first of all they feel like they're about to fly off i'm gonna rip these off soon but oh i forgot with clear glasses it's easier to get them dirty um but my glasses feel like they're about to fly off my face or lashes feel like they're about to fly off my face and then this stupid wig this is why i don't wear lashes and i don't wear wigs that much because i am literally most irritated who some people there's literally trash all on this exit and i'm just thinking like who did that who littered so much trash on the side of this highway anyways it's just more trouble than it's worth usually whenever I wear a wig or wear lashes. Alright guys, I made it to Sam's Club. My this store give, can give me some a lot of anxiety sometimes. I get overwhelmed if there's too many people. But I really just want all I really want to get right now is a rotisserie chicken. Okay. We have lots of rotisserie chickens. Okay, so I found my rotisserie chicken. So we're gonna go check out and then I'm gonna get my food from the food court here which they have um i don't know if i want a pizza or hot dog i might get a sunday too all right i'm currently in line to get my pizza slice and i'll probably be in line for like 15 minutes here's the line here's my chicken to go for a walk because going outside is the only thing or something I can do that helps me when I feel stressed or overwhelmed which I have definitely been feeling um so I just filmed a makeup video or it was kind of a makeup video but it was more of like me just talking about stuff while I tried some new makeup so there's that and then I'm gonna bring 
this purse with me. All right, I need to go find a water bottle to bring to the park. Here's my large collection of water bottles. So I prefer one that is has a handle and a top. So I'm gonna go with this pink one I got from Five Below. I should do a cup collection eventually. All right, got my water bottle. So we're about to head out. I sprayed a little bit of sunscreen. <sighs> so I feel like I go on walks more because they help me clear my head than because I'm like trying to work out at this point. So oh, my car smells horrendous, y'all. have to I might have something something might have spilled in it for it to smell as bad as it does like it smells bad um but anyways so I go on walks currently more just to like get some fresh air get some sunlight get some vitamin D and it also just helps me to relax, um, especially because of dealing with some stress and anxiety and stuff like that. So getting some fresh air and sunlight helps. And I usually like to listen to like worship music while I go on my walks. And because it's closer to summertime, it's better to go right now before um, later at night. So it's 6.14. I usually just walk one loop around the park and that takes me a little bit under an hour depending on how fast I walk. And it's about two, close to like two and a half miles I wanna say. Um, so yeah, and it's also just like a pretty big park, there's a lake, and there's also like another area I like to go to where there's, um, this like stone, uh, or it's like rock, it's a big rock in this park. Um, so yeah, I just need to get out my house and it's really nice outside. It's been raining and storming for the past couple of days, so I need to get out my house and just get some fresh air because that's the only thing right now that really helps with my stress and anxiety that is not me spending money because I have a, I'm working on my shopping and I don't want to spend, I don't want to be spending money every time I feel sad or stressed because it's not a healthy coping, coping mechanism for me. And I've, I'm trying to pay down debt and save. So this is what I'm going to do instead go to a park, walk around, get some fresh air. It's free, it's something I enjoy, and it doesn't cost, well I already said it's free, but it also helps me feel a lot better. I used to, when I was more into running, I used to just go for a run. Um, when I was stressed, but I don't really, well, I'm out of shape, so there's that, but I feel like, um, 
running used to be very therapeutic. See, how do people get over there to that parking lot is what I need to, I want to figure out. Dang, there's a lot more people at this park today. I guess because it's a Sunday and Sundays are more busy. and then if it's still nice out I might go sit on some of the rocks over here once I'm done all right I made it to the park I literally just did a full face of makeup so that's kind of iconic and ironic because I usually don't would not come to the park in a full face of makeup, but... I did I reviewed my Sesame Street makeup finally that I have found at Dollar Tree but I'm about to shower and start getting ready for bed it's like 7 so it's not super late but since I worked out at night or closer in the evening it's kind of just easier for me to shower super early. It's still sunny outside, but 